looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over the best budget beast in Madden 21, guys. Now, of course, you know how budget beast works. There's plenty of options. So, of course, my eight that I give you guys, by the way, in no order, just my top eight. They may not exactly always match up with your goals or align with what you guys think. But, of course, that is why you comment down below some of your budget bees that you think should be on this list. And there we go. Bam, we have a master list, right? Of my list plus your list plus his list plus her list, right? That's it. And we have everyone's list. And at the end of the day, we end up with a nice, decent little community pit tab on that day. A budget player. So, make sure you guys are contributing to the budget list down below. But these are my eight. I'm going to go through, guys. So, let's head over to the auction block. Before we get into the video entirely, make sure you go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course guys, liking and commenting helps the channel out tremendously, so comment down below your budget players, or just your favorite one. Who's your favorite one or two that you think everyone needs to have, and of course like the video. But yeah, let's head over to the budget list, so coming in at number 8, my 8th guy, I remember this isn't in any order, just my 8 people that I think you need to have. Coming in at number 8, a monster, monstered himself, Raheem Monster for the 49ers playoff card. Now remember, this playoff card may be 274, but there is a way to get that a bit cheaper, which I'm going to show you guys real quick. Um, he may come off as expensive there, but if you do stuff right as far as the sets or you take advantage of playoff sets, you can get him for much cheaper. So the Adrian Wilson set, I believe, is where he's in. So remember, there's the whole method. If you haven't seen it, it's on my channel. Go back and check it. You do the set. You get the players. And remember, you also got a free one. Now, I don't know if it updated with the, you know, the, uh, the newer ones, but again, you do the set. You complete the whole thing, and you're going to quick, and you're going to sell Adrian Wilson on the block, and then yada yada yada. Everything might end up being like 160, 200k. But you get three cards, which means if it's two to 300k, that means it mean that ends up being Raheem Mostert probably costs you about 100k or less when you break it all down. Again, don't have time in this video to go over, but again, check out my channel. You've seen me do it plenty of times. You follow that method, Mostert's a perfect budget back, and I'll go over why in just a second as we get back over to the auction block. Now, Mostert. Is going to be the perfect budget back for many people because of the pressure you'll get him at combined with what he can essentially do on your team. Powered up and Kevin, guys, he will have 96 speed, 95 excel, which is pretty much all you need. In, you know, doesn't have a budget back or going for speed. You're gonna get his speed, his excel, and you're gonna get at a reasonable price when you break it down. You can't really beat that. Next on the list, the guy that finally came down in price enough to justify being put on this list, and that's going to be DK Metcalf. Now, DK Metcalf. Been on, my budget pistol, uh, been on my budget piece list all year as he keeps getting better and better cards. Now, this most recent card that he does have is going to be his 95 overall. As you guys can see right about here now. If I'm looking correctly, it's 144k. And you can't go wrong with this card. I like how people are trying to sell him in there. Tricky a little bit. Uh, let's go. Let's, it's 150. What was it? 155k, 144k. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back. 144k. So, this card, you can, you can power it up and chem him up. He will have 96 speed and 96 jumping. That's all that matters right there, right? You're gonna get the speed and the jumping. And he's six foot three. And you have all the route running thresholds and catching thresholds, guys. A six foot three, 96 speed route running threshold receiver is probably the best combination you're going to get at this price range, right? You can play in a budget squad for quite a while. I just don't see you upgrading from a guy that came on a budget squad for a decent amount of time. He, can, he definitely will fit the uh the role of one of the three receivers, even as your budget squad does get better. And again, you can't always go so you can't go 30k, 40k for every player. These are like those guys that like just get, you put on the budget team. They're below 200k. They're gonna get the job done. Next one's Denzel Ward right here, 159 for Denzel Ward. Again, you can always snipe these out, get them a little bit cheaper. People say this isn't budget, guys. 150k for a card that can start on most teams is a budget card, right? A budget card isn't 89 overalls that can compete because 89 overalls aren't competing anymore. These are considered budget because again, people are playing with 98, 97 overalls, and coming up 99 so maybe let's get a 95 overall player at a 150k price range that you can power up come up and get to a decent um you know decent pr pretty competable stats uh, competitive stats considering what you're going up against it's pretty good to me now denzel ward will get you 99 man 99 press 95 speed and good zone he's gonna be the all-around package again he had a decent price you don't gotta pay a premium for him but again he's one of a few that are gonna really fit this year now this next guy is another guy that i really like this year and that's sean murphy bunting now, Sean Murphy Bunting, another great budget player. Now, he was originally on my list as this guy, but he's gotten some recent upgrades, and now he's going to be on my list at 119K, which I value as more than fair, guys. Chemmed up, he's going to have 95 speed, 94 excel, 92 agility, 96 jumping. Over 90 play rec, he'll have 99 man, 99 zone, and 99 press. So he will be one of the few corners 
in this game that you can get to 99 man zone impress without a power up and 119k so you're gonna get a fully chemed out 99 of 99 coverage cornerback with great speed good height six feet tall and you don't have to even power him up to do so guys it's just a great value you really don't be missing values like that and another guy that comes straight from the super bowl promo is going to make a great player on your team is going to be chris godwin chris godwin the new super bowl uh, version of him all the way down here 108k you're going to be able to get a uh, receiver with 94 speed 87 jumping 96 catching 94 catch in traffic 93 spec, 93 short running, 93 medium route, and 90 deep route running. Now remember, powered up and chemed up, he'll get to a 96 overall, which does mean he'll have 95 speed, all route running thresholds. So you're going to have another another receiver that's all route running thresholds, all catching thresholds, all, you know, like the speed you want. Him and Metcalf are going to make a great duo, and it'll it fall below 300k for two top tier receivers. And next on the list, a guy that you can't get, I'll explain how you get him as well. I'll come back later in the video to show you how you get him, so just remember that. Montez Sweat, team standouts. He goes for 389k. I will go over that in just a second. But Montez Sweat, he's going to get 94 speed and 96 excel powered up and chemed up on your team at end. He's going to be one of the fastest defensive players in the game, on the defensive line at least, with a 95 finesse move. Powered up and chemed up guys who have 99 finesse move, 94 block shed with 94 speed. That's a Camus player. Now again, I'll come back later on how to get him for cheaper. But remember, Montez Sweat's going to be a monster. Now, a guy that I want to throw in here, he was on the budget piece earlier in the, a little bit earlier in the year. He's still really good. He goes for a pretty fair price. And honestly, I really liked him when we had him. Marcus Williams, free safety from the NFL playoffs uh, promo. Again, he gets 95 speed and 96 excel powered up at free safety with 99 zone coverage powered up and kept up with 90 man. He'll have 90 man, 99 zone, 95 speed, 96 excel, six for one. All around, all around for safety that can do just about everything on the field. When you want it, where you want it, and put him in just about any scheme. And he can hit decently enough to where he won't get entirely killed by the run game. And then for our budget piece quarterback, a guy that I've been saying was since my last list again was on this list, Josh Allen is a great budget piece quarterback. Because currently you can get his playoff card for 134K or even free potentially if you did the whole set thing again. Again, same thing as Mostert. 88 speed. 97 throw power, 92 throw short, 91 throw medium, 89 deep accuracy, 90 throw under pressure, 95 throw on the run, and 90 play action. So powered up and chemed up, he will have 89 speed. Checks the box for speed. Archetype, strong arm. Checks one of the boxes for one of the better archetypes. Throw power, we'll have 99. Checks that box. Play fake, going to short accuracy and medium, you will have a 99 short, 98, uh, I believe, 97 medium, or 98 medium maybe. No, sorry. It is going to be 98 short and i believe it's going to be a 97 medium as well as above 90 deep so he's gonna have all the throwing thresholds all around with the speed with the archetype with the throw power and he's six foot five and after the you know after the after he has the ball in his hands he's taken off juking a little bit of stiff arm nothing crazy there nothing to you know write home about but he's gonna be able to make all the throws you want while being mobile can't miss again with josh allen there now what i do want to check out is we get over to solos how you get the montez sweat for cheaper like i said you come up to solos, you go to teams, the new team standout stuff, which you're going to be down to Team Affinity. Team Affinity, Team Standout Series 4. Sorry. Team Standout Series 4. Complete complete all 32s, earn H, your choice. A fancy pack of a 95 overall player from the standout player. So again, you can take Montez Sweat. Now again, don't have to take him. You can take whoever you want, whoever fits your team better than he does. But remember, Montez Sweat or wherever else. AJ Terrell's a really good one as well. I was going to toss him on there, but remember, there's a free player, so it gets, gets no more budget than that. So make sure you're picking your team stand-up player. So essentially on this list, see Montez Sweat's more like a Montez Sweat option. And then, you know, fill this blank with 31 other players. Pick what you want. Go through the sets, guys. There's plenty of good guys there. Yeah, that's about it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the noti bell. And of course, always like and comment. Comment down below your favorite team stand-up player or your favorite budget piece to help other people out. And of course, smash the like button. If you guys need coins to build up your budget squad a little bit more, head on over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional discount. That's it. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.